Stoke, her last roly, throwing her last tantrum and eating her last bacon butty. The outsider finds herself well and truly on the outside. There she is with her family. Uh, I'm going over to this uh, pink gentleman this evening. I'm quite tanned, aren't it? I? No, your jacket. Yeah, but I'm tanned as well. So this isn't fake, just in case you're all I wasn't wondering. supposed to wear pink until next week, but because okay. I got back from holiday, I'm rocking the pink tonight. Okay. Yeah. I think some people think you've, you've just overdone... Stop reading Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no! I did actually read it before I came up here. So there you go, all you people. It's real. Don't blame my makeup artist for She does a good job. Um, okay, so eviction number seven yes. already. It yes. seems to be flying by. I think this series has gone way quicker than last year's. We've got the final in just around three weeks' time. Yeah. So it's gone really quick and still, I still get so excited but also I think the evictions rock the house because it makes them question everything. They do but I think for the first time in a long time as well you never know who's going to come out. I it think we even know who's surprising. going to win at this point. There's exactly, no one. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, how was tonight for you? It, really I good. think it was really lovely that yeah. for the first time we have had cheers! Cheers, yes. First time this series, yes. Thank you, thank but you. also, during it again, you know, they're not yelling about the people that are nominated, they're yelling about other housemates. And as, I know. when you're sat there, it, that would make you feel quite weird and go, oh, are they yelling yeah. about me? Yeah. Yeah. I was, um, I was watching the live feed uh, uh, as, as it was going on. Yeah. And um, over on Five Star. And Caroline is just so, just doesn't know what to do with herself. I know. Like she's kind of biting her lip. I do. She's, I, I, she's really I kind of think because she got, you know, that warning from Big Brother and was told to rein it in. Will she rein it in or will she just let it sit? And plus, when she leaves, I don't know what I'm going to say to her because there's so much we have to say to her and how will she take it? Because she will be shocked. Yes, yeah, she will be shocked. Yeah. I don't think she's expecting it. No. Um, and one final question, yes. Brian. Can you cross your legs? <laughs> I can't. I'd have to lift it up. There we go. <laughs> Actually, I need my second hand. There we go. <laughs> so you can do it. Nothing gets in the way. Nothing, babe, I'm average. <laughs> we know. Uh, Brian, thank you. Thank you very much. You can go back. He opened his mouth and everything. I did. Then. Uh, you go back to your Lumbrini, because yeah, I, I know that's your favourite tipple. Thank you. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to take little Lauren and wish that my bottom was as firm as hers. Come on, Lauren. You're mine now. For some sort of policeman prisoner role play thing, and it's all a little bit kinky and weird if you ask me, I am not into it. Uh, right, it is Friday night and it's eviction number seven! Woo! <laughs> through. In fact, we're more than halfway through. We've only got a few more to go. Uh, anyway, Lauren will be joining me later, but in the meantime, we are hoping for a giggle of this. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a gaggle of this. And hopefully a whole gob full of this. I'm going to make a porno with Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, if we're lucky. Uh, right, it's a grade A lineup tonight as we've invited back some of our favourites, the sort of greatest hits of the series so far. During her time on Snog Bar Marry Avoid, she's had to work her makeover magic on some of the nation's most challenging and disturbing hairdos. I think even she would struggle to, Caroline, to, to, to tame Caroline's mane, though. It is the very lovely Ellie Taylor. <laughs> A regular favourite on, on the side over the last seven days, which basically means we have run out of Siobhanisms to introduce her. It is Mama Shiv! Yeah. And finally, after his last appearance, he lived up to his credentials as bit on the side expert by taking home fellow guest Jody Marsh. Siobhan, it could be your turn for a bit of Norcross pork log tonight. It's so, uh, Kirk, how, how is, uh, how's Jode? Yeah, it's right. We're just mates, that's all. We're just mates? Just okay. mates. Okay. Uh, now, before we go any further, let's give you one of our patented Bit on the Side exclusive. Here is how the house is getting on without Lauren. I've, I've clearly, I've evidently completely ruined my life. Why? Don't be silly. Guys, and do you see Luke? 
you were speaking. Yeah. You were going, yeah. You were going, yeah. And when it, before when I said, oh, it's horrible, and next guy's and he went, yeah, thanks to all you lot. Well, I'm sorry, someone has to bloody go every week. I need And so, so you know, Sarah, Sarah and Dina can't, like, they can't even look at me. Why? And Dina was going, Dina was going, the Some public more. will like you because they hate Caroline. The public oh, will like God. you. And they were, and all, all of them were like, yes, yes. Yeah, honestly, oh, she was. <laughs> a bit pissed off no one bothered to cheer me or boo me. They just use that time to, like, say, get Caroline out. <laughs> Come in, cheers, guys. <laughs> Come on. I know. It's a little bit I know. I know. Right, should we have a chat about the eviction? Yeah. I've got to say, I'm quite surprised. Yeah. Um, Ellie, did the right person go? I was really surprised as well. And I'm not sure because I was quite interested to see Lauren stay in and carry on the thing with Adam and the flirting and the, ah, stop it, ah, all of that kind of stuff. But, um, I don't know, I think Luke A is... Maybe it'll be more worthwhile for him in like a life sense to stay in. I think it means a lot to him, doesn't it? I think it does, yeah. I, I heard, hmm, mm. mm. No, no. <laughs> so we saw a hmm here. I didn't want any of them to go, so. It was a yeah. Do you know what? Every it's week it's been quite yeah. difficult weeks to one guess who's going to go, and this week I think two what seem like genuinely lovely people that, that the audience really don't want to see go. I think yeah. with Adam as well, I think what happened with not, um, sorry. Lauren, sorry, with Lauren, the fact that she's been evicted, I think it's the fact that she played on with Adam for quite a while and she never actually taught him, you know, I'm not interested or anything. And I think that costed her vote. I don't yeah. think she really knew that, though. I don't think she was, like, like, like going along with what was going on with her. I think she just wanted to be friends and, like, do you know what I mean? I, I think that was kind of her comfort blanket yeah, in there, wasn't yeah. there? Because she'd come, the up, girls was she'd a bit, come up bit against walls with the girls, the girls and Adam. So. A bit Adam. of jealousy, I thought, and it's, I feel a bit sorry for her, to be fair. Oh, oh, does you all want to talk tonight? It's fabulous. <laughs> I still think it was a little bit more than that, because even when Adam was speaking to her a bit about how he felt, she was like, oh, you're ruining our friendship. She had a little smirk on her face. I think she's got a soft spot for him. Do you know what? She's going to be she here does. soon, so we'll ask her. Uh, Kirk, were you a fan? Yeah. Yeah, both, both of them. <laughs> what a yeah, no, stupid no, like question them. to ask Kirk Norcross. Were you a fan of that really hot blonde? Yeah, she was nice. But I think they, they had the same traits in the house, so they're both going to be missed the same. You know, they, they bring the same things to the house. But, uh, yeah, I get to see Lauren now, so it's all right. Hey. Um, Siobhan, were you surprised by tonight's result? I'm really surprised. I genuinely thought Luke A was going to go. Like, I completely believed Lauren was going to stay. So it's... I, I don't know. I think the housemates are probably going to be shocked as well. But I, it was it was a tough between the two of them because they were yeah. such close friends. So it was. A I think because she was saved before, I thought she would be saved again. Yeah, but I think it's a shame. I don't know. I wanted Lauren to stay in there and just. She, Lauren is so much fun in that house, and like, she brought a lot to the house, even though she had a lot of issues with the insiders. But she's a wicked housemate, so I am upset that she's gone. Um, who do you think is going to miss her the most, Kirk? Adam, definitely. You know. <laughs> I think Luke as well, because that was, uh, was a little trio there. But Adam, definitely. He did look heartbroken. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Poor Adam. Uh, we saw her telling um, Adam that he needs to merge with the insiders. Do you think that he will? No, I don't think so. No, I don't. I think they're going to stick together now, Adam and Luke, and that's it. I feel a bit sorry for is that just Is that just a matter of time, though, that they, mm. they're going to get... <laughs> I think I've got to give someone else a turn. I will come back to you, though, I promise. I think he will, because he's here to play the game. Who? Uh, Adam is. Do you think? Yeah, he's got to. He's got to to survive. He's not do stupid. You think he's, do you think he's played a game up until now, or do you think he'll start to play a game now that he knows it's I'm just a, bit a matter tall. of time? I think sometimes you think, yes, he is playing a game, and other times you think, no, maybe he is being real. But I think for him to survive and get to the final, he's got to mix with the others, and I think he will. He's not silly. Uh, Siobhan, sorry, you've lived with him. Do you think he's playing a game? I, you obviously have... A relationship like this with Adam? Oh, clearly. But, like, a just dysfunctional... <laughs> yeah. Just, but, honestly, like, in there, in the first few weeks, like, he'd gone up to different housemates and was talking about, oh, you've secured this amount of votes and you've secu secured that many. But Adam's just a nice, genuine guy. Like, he's got a good yeah. heart. I genuinely think if he's going to make, build bridges with anyone in the house, it will just happen naturally. He's not going to force it. But I think he's actually really popular in the house at times. But yeah. I think once he's sorted out the thing with Sarah, I think he'll be fine. I think he'll build bridges with the insiders as well. Okay, well, uh, we've seen Luke A try to build bridges with the insiders this week. Um, do you think this was a ploy to stay in, Ellie? Well, or when he had all the little chats? Or a genuine... 
I don't know. I think it was genuine. He seems... He, I think the whole having to uh, nominate in front of each other really kind of... It, it really genuinely upset him, like, as a, as a person. It wasn't part of the game. I think he really wanted to sort of find out what he'd yeah. done wrong and, and kind of clear the air. I think that was real. He That's doesn't good. seem like the kind of person that would genuinely want to make somebody feel bad. No, Luke A is a really nice guy, and even though when people watch it, they're like, oh, it's part of the game, but it is, you're living with these people, and you think they like you, and then to have a face-to-face -face nomination is just awful. But I think he did the right thing, because he built bridges with people that he clearly doesn't get on with, and then yeah. I think if there's still problems after that, then it just pu proves that the people are fake then. So he's, he's probably going into next week with a clean slate. Okay. Um, the Outsiders have lost another member. Can they survive, Siobhan? Oh, yeah, they're going to rock it. Of course they can. Like, they will survive. They, their friendships are so tight in there that they'll never turn on each other. Yeah. So I know, but will they, it, there aren't enough of them, are there, really, to kind of get mm. any of the insiders out? Yeah, I think if people are voting tactically, then a two outsiders are going to be up again. But I yeah. think if people are being genuine and at the last part of the game now, I think people are just, everyone's getting on each other's nerves. So I think we'll probably be shocked next week. OK. Uh, do you think the insiders are back in control now? I think they always have been, really. Apart from the turf wars, like the, um, the outsiders had a few more bits of turf. But no, I think they've always, because there's a load of them, isn't there? There's yeah. only them. You can't, you can't do it. Oh, they're going to go for each other now. Aren't yeah. That's, that's who do you happen. think will go for who? I'm um, definitely Becky. I think she's a flipping here, there and everywhere. <laughs> Somebody's got a telephone on in this audience. Let's turn it off, please. Uh, right. <laughs> They're telling me things in my ear. I'm not going to repeat them. Uh, right. Don't agree <laughs> with what this lot I've had to say and think that you can handle one of these in your face like that <laughs> then why not book some place in the studio email us audience at bb but on the side dot com join us after the break when we'll have yet more exclusive footage from the house and i will be getting stuck into lauren see you in a bit <laughs> tonight for our 44th homeless housemate since August 2011. 44 of them. I say keep them coming. Uh, so, she couldn't wait to watch her best bits when she was in the house. Not sure what she's going to make of this then. Here are Lauren's worst bits. That was nerve-wracking, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun. by God or something. Oh my goodness. Yes, can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> Crazy. She doesn't have friends that are girls. She relies on boys that want to fuck her. Lil Lauren. Lil ah. Tomboy cuteness and dolls up. Very nice. This is a bit awkward. Have my neck is on and my fanny's probably out just saying. I just thought we had this really funny, jokey relationship. It attracted you. But I didn't realise he saw me like that at all. I'm the love of his life. <laughs> a la bacon. Oh, bacon. I thought she was one of my really good friends. Don't cry. Listen, no, to, me. Listen to me. Look at me. Girls never like me. Oh, I can't do this anymore. Fucking fuming. What? If you don't like me, you don't like me. I can handle that. Just Nobody worried about it. But why is I... no one talking to me? What? <laughs> If this experience has taught me anything, it'll be that I will never get on with girls. <laughs> she's only trying to be a nice person. She's got everyone in there and she's bitching about me. Appropriate footwear. Fuck you. Ah! <laughs> Love you, Dad. As if this place isn't stressful enough. Ah! Don't know what loses you people the fucking game show. I also quite enjoyed being paintballed up the ass. Will absolutely miss your laugh. That's so funny. She scrubbed up well tonight, and now it's time to give the Jersey Royal a roasting or a grilling or any other potato based pun that you wish to insert. Jeff, take it away, please. Look, my feet are jumping. Look, my heart is thumping. Call my head back. Well, come on now. To say you will, yeah, jump and get to shout, yeah, 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 yeah. Say you will, well, come on, well, come on, say you will, well, come on, yeah, yeah. Shout, 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 where I feel all chair all 
over again. I don't know. It's, it's, the, it's the pretend one that we have. Uh, Jeff, did you think she deserved to go? Um, I thought you'd be in there longer. I was hoping that you would be because it was all just starting to get a bit juicy with Adam. Probably, oh! more, probably more him than you. But, uh, you know, with Adam in the Garden of Eden, I was waiting to see what was going to happen next. But um, I'm, glad you're, I'm glad you're here. It's nice to meet you. Oh, you too, Jeff. Thank Looking you. Looking lovely, as always, Jeff. Thank you very much. We'll see Thank you next you. week. Yep. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, OK, Lauren. So, first thing is first. We don't want any tantrums. So, we want to keep you calm by giving you the one thing that you love best. Jeff. Would you bring in Lauren's bacon sandwich? Uh, there you are, my darling. There Enjoy. you go. <laughs> it's probably a little bit cold because it's been there for a while. <laughs> I wouldn't eat it if I were you. Uh, but, it, you know, if you like cold bacon sandwich, then, then tuck in. Uh, right, OK, so I have to tell you that uh, the vote has been so tight all week and there was only 7% in between you and Luke A tonight. Wow, he deserves 7%. it. 7%. So, so it was so, so close. So close. And as we've been saying, I think, all week, two people were up that really nobody wanted to see go. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Uh, right, OK, so let's talk nominations. Uh, this week, it was face-to-face -face noms, mm. which you took incredibly well. Was it difficult to stay strong whilst hearing some of that stuff? Yeah. I was completely dying inside. I wanted to cry. I couldn't believe everybody jumped on the bandwagon and used the exact same reason all the way through. It was the hardest thing I've ever been through. Oh! <laughs> you, I feel, are you getting upset now? Just okay, about yeah, it? yeah, let's not talk about this. <laughs> We've got to talk about it, Lauren. That's why you're here. Uh, now, as you know, you were nominated because you told Big Brother of Connor's rule break. Now, I think it's a, a bit crazy, really, because Big Brother sees everything. I know. Did you not think it was a bit bizarre? Yeah, I was being stupid, but at the same time, I wanted to stick up for Becky and Dina. No, you wasn't being stupid. I felt like I was. But you stuck up for your friend, mm. and, and there was nothing wrong with that. But the others all said she told on us, when there's 40-odd cameras in that house that are watching them permanently. Connor tried to say that he wasn't talking about nominations. He was talking about who he didn't like in the groups. I think we all know that he was talking about nominations. Uh, now, when uh, you confronted Becky about it, she said that she meant no malice mm. uh, by, by her telling uh, the others uh, mm. about your part in everything. Did you believe her? I wanted to because I always want to see the best in people, but I would love to get to the bottom of it and see what really happened because... Well, Lauren, funny you should say that. <laughs> We've got a clip of her doing it. Right. Would you like to watch? Yes. Here you go. Do you know why, why the D and B comment was read out last week? Because Wooden Spoon went to the diary room and told them what Connor had said and said you need to pick up on it. She, she said, Becky, Becky, please, come here, come here. And told me, and then I was just a bit like... And I was like, oh, well, that's... that's, that's I wouldn't care if she wasn't nice to his face. I couldn't... That would be fine if she wasn't nice to his face. She's so like, oh, I love you. And all, it really, like... Oh. And hugs him and... Oh. How does that make you feel? She lied to my face. I gave her the benefit of the doubt. I thought that... She told me that she was talking to it about Scott and Luke uh, S overheard. Now we've seen that. We should come down on there like a ton of bricks. <laughs> I, suppose it, I suppose it's hard when you're in there because, you know, as, as we've heard you say, uh, you didn't really have any female friends in there. And, and when they were telling you things and, and trying to explain themselves, I suppose you wanted to believe them because you wanted to have some girlfriends in there. Yeah. And, and you would listen to them, and you would give them the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've always wanted female friends, but for some reason, females just don't like me. And so I always try to listen to them, because I think that, you know, girls stick together, girl power, but apparently not. I, I, I think, Lauren, girls are probably jealous of you. And that's because you're, as, as we saw Luke S say about you in the diary room, you're a little firecracker. You're gorgeous, you've got a lovely personality, Aww. and you're a lot of fun. And, and that can be intimidating to a lot of women because they don't really know how to handle it. I don't know, I just thought they all hated me and they 
they're all so bitchy and I just, you know, I don't know how to talk about makeup and clothes and stuff. So that doesn't matter. I just assumed they thought I was different and they didn't want to get on with me. Most of our female panel that we've had and most, well, pretty much all of our female audience all, all loved you. So, so don't worry about girls not liking you. It's Aww, not a problem. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's go back to the start. Mm -hmm. And uh, an early turning point was when you heard uh, Sarah, Siobhan and Ashley bitching about you. Um, not good, Siobhan. What, no, but she, she was in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, good on you for kind of going in, <laughs> going in uh, and confronting them. But is there any part of you that wish you hadn't done that? No. Because of rocking the barrel? No, do you know what? If I could go back, I'd do it again. I can't listen to people bitching about me and not say anything about it. That would have made me a wallflower and I couldn't have done that. Do you think that sealed your fate, though? Uh, yeah. Definitely on the uh, inside group. Yeah. But, you know, I can't have people talk about me and not say anything. It wouldn't be right. I said I'd stick up for myself from the start. And it wasn't fair. I called people inconsiderate. People in there are inconsiderate. Yeah. Well, you, yeah, you're going to have that in there. <laughs> it's a house full of a variety of people and, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. things like that are going to happen. Uh, right, this week, um, uh, you were quite uncomfortable when Adam tried to tell you <laughs> about his feelings. Uh, <laughs> do you fancy him? No, Adam's a lovely guy, and I see myself as one of the lads, so I couldn't work out why he didn't. And like, he told me quite early on, I said to him, why in the first two weeks didn't you speak to me? And he said, oh, it's because I was attracted to you, which I laughed off because I thought he was joking. Right. So I didn't really know how to take it from then. So um, what about the sexy handstand? I do handstands. <laughs> but oh, was, my God, no. I do handstands. There was one handstand. really sexy no, one, No, 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 no. I do them constantly. Ask any of my flatmates. I do it all the time. OK. Uh, there was one really sexy handstand where a leg kind of came out oh, and then hit no. the floor, which we've all seen. But I would like to show you what happened um, after that sexy handstand. Have a look at this. Check this out, Alan. I can't come help you. What? I said I can't come help her. What? I'm almost a wreck. Just <laughs> to ask you, are you really unaware of the effect that you have on men? Apparently. Oh. Because I know, I know you say that you're one of the lads, but the lads don't spoon and cuddle with each other. <laughs> I don't know, Do you know did you I mean? not see me, Luke and Adam in the bed the other night? They were spooning brilliantly. <laughs> no, we didn't see that. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, I think, I think maybe you are quite unaware as to the effect you have on men, because clearly that is the effect you have on men. Oh. <laughs> like, I was winding him up there, though. Like, that was my fault. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, we've got to admit it. She wound him up a little bit. Um, if you could have taken anybody else out of the house tonight, who would you have grabbed to their hand and pulled out the door? Definitely Adam or Luke. I love them both so much. They're such genuine people, and it felt really comfortable once I made friends with them because I didn't feel alone anymore. It's really quite interesting and a breath, of a breath of fresh air, I think, that you have said that you would take a friend out with you because you want to stay with them, whereas everyone else that's come out has said somebody that they would oh. they want rid of. <laughs> no, 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 that, I think that's, that's a really lovely thing because Aww. you've clearly made genuine friends. Uh, thank you very much, Lauren, everybody. <laughs> Team. They're going to be interviewing her after the show for an online exclusive. Details are on the screen. Uh, Laurie's also going to be taking calls in Jamie's phone room this weekend. So if you've got a question or have any other business to discuss, then give us a call on the number below. Still to come, I throw Lauren, our unlucky evicting number seven, to that lot over there. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Big Brother's 
little bit on the side. Nominated yesterday for an International Emmy Award. <laughs> National Television win Award winner for Best Spin-Off Show. <laughs> Brian Bellow's favourite TV programme? Yay! 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 We're doing something right. Uh, so, Lauren has handled mine and Brian's questions really, really, really well. Really well. Uh, but how will she cope with this lot in here? Uh, it's time to go for panel and audience questions. So, let's start with Ellie. <clears throat> Lauren, in a VT, we saw that you said you were going to do a porno with Benedict. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Would you consider scrapping Benedict and taking Kirk instead? 100%. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Wow, I love that you're not beating around the book. <laughs> Sorry, Nan. <laughs> uh, Kirk. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Um, if you could go back in the house, would you try and fit in with the insiders just to try and make your stay a little bit easier, or would you carry on and do it as you did before? No, they're horrible people. Good. <laughs> Good. Do you think she should have been up for eviction instead of you and Luke Hay? Caroline and Connor. Yeah. Yeah. into that because they were obviously your friends well no i i don't agree with connor <laughs> we got to get it but um caroline definitely a million percent totally because i've seen time. a different side to her now i've come out i'm I like told you oh, i know you told me <laughs> <about it. laughs> my hands were too busy <laughs> Listen. uh ellie do you have another one i do um it, at the beginning of the series you seem to have a little bit of a flatty flatty going on with aaron did you want to is absolutely gorgeous. No one can disagree with that, but he has a really immature side to him that wasn't so easy to deal with. Mm -hmm. Who's more your type then, Adam or Aaron? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Just quick. Okay, if we could if we could have Aaron's face and Adam's personality, perfect. <laughs> Kirk, you got another one? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm never subtle to be honest. So do you fancy coming to Sugar Up for a drink soon? Gotcha! <laughs> Well. Yeah. Never start off. Kirk, every time you come here, you just score. <laughs> what is going on? I'm back no more. I'm done now. Uh, yeah. Siobhan, you got another one? Um, did you think the house would be as emotional or as hard as it was? I don't think I've cried that much this year. I can't believe how emotional it was. I don't deal with bitching and gossiping very well and didn't really on the series either. <laughs> OK, we've got some audience questions for you, Lauren. So first one is here. I want to know if you will be showing Adam round Jersey, maybe introducing them to the folks. Yeah, I definitely, definitely take Adam to Jersey. He needs to see a few more places, and apparently my mum proves, but I think we'll just stay friends. Uh, and what about your nan? What would your nan make of Adam? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, nanny's a bit more conservative. We've met so your more... nan. Yeah, I She's been on the show. Oh! Bless her. But yeah, I'm sure she'd love him too. I'm sure she would. Uh, we have another question here. Hi, Lauren. Hello. Um, if you could choose to live off of bacon or fags, what would you choose? <laughs> <laughs> that is the best question ever. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> yeah, a lot better for you, Lauren. A lot better for you. Uh, and another one here. How do you think the house has changed you? I think the house made me into a slightly a bitchier person mainly because you had to be to kind of survive in there but also a lot stronger i can say no to people now i understand that everybody's not going to like you uh, <laughs> lauren did you is it hard not to get caught up in the bitching when you're in the house because we saw the outsiders as we we called you guys um uh talk about how much the insiders bitched but then we would see you guys talking about them as well. 100%. I think after a while, you've kind of heard everybody's stories, everybody's naughty secrets. And I think that you just kind of get drawn into it. And, you know, when you see them bitching, it's hard not to bitch back. Yeah. CC crew. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> our, our secret insider joke. Siobhan called us the cigarette, cigarette crew, crew, so we adopted it. Yeah. CC y'all. CC y'all. <laughs> ah, 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really down with the kids, it seems, anymore. Oh. What's happened to me? I don't know. Uh, uh, amazing. Right, thank you all very much. Uh, it's time to scratch my egg and uh, to ring the exclusive alarm. Yeah, again. I'm glad that tickled you. Um, here is another up-to-the-minute house exclusive bit of action. I don't give a fuck anymore about what people say to me. Oh and I will be giving my two pennies worth from the arch. Oh, um, hmm? yeah. Get out of these people. <laughs> Complete yeah, selfish. Know. She's going to be on the rampage now. Chef. I hope that she just lets everything out, tells everyone how it is. Yeah. It's so nice to feel right. Huh? You know what I mean? Okay. No, you're gonna have to swear that. Like, knowing that we're not the bad guys. All oh, right. It feels amazing. I feel so smug. I hate smug people and I feel so smug. Well, here's why. Because we're right. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I can't contain it. I need a fucking, like... A cigarette. Yes. So it's sweaty box time with Helen and Lauren, two fit blondes. <laughs> uh, what did you make of that clip? I'm so glad they realised that they're not the bad people anymore because when you've got everyone in there thinking you're the bad people, you kind of start to believe it yourself. Yeah. And everything that I've heard in the short amount of time I've been out, I realised that, you know, people are on our side and that's just so nice to hear. OK, so Helen has got all of the online information for you from the online community. Basically, you went down, you've been a massive hit for the last few weeks. Since you've, been got, you've gone in, but your, your support's grown. And the amount of fan sites that have asked me to tell you about them, I can't fit them all in, basically. Aww. But um, Glyn from Big Brother 7 says, gutted with the result, Lauren, you should have won. That was oh, Glyn. Oh, my God, no way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, Glyn! Lo loads, no of <laughs> yeah. oh loads of questions for you. Um, one question that came up a few times. Loretta, someone says, do you think Luke S fancied you? Before, like, him and Ashley got together. Well, I'll let you into oh! a little secret. Before he uh, decided he liked Ashley, he had Caroline kind of playing Cupid, saying to me, oh, do you like Lucas? Lucas really likes you. But I kind of shot him down. And I so think that's maybe where Ashley's hatred of me stemmed from. Does Ashley know this? I think so. I think so, because... Because she really just... She was talking about it again the other day. Like, she just can't seem to let it go, no, can she? Really we can't. had a chat about it, and she said, you know, oh, you fancy Luke. And I said, no, I don't. I told him early on I didn't. And she said, oh, it must be me being insecure. But then she never let it drop. OK, let's get some more in, because we're okay. running out of time. Um, do you think, uh, Eden Goldie says, do you think being one of the lads affected your friendship with the girls? The fact you were so... Yeah, a lot, but... I've been through it my whole life, you know. They talk about makeup and clothes, and I'm none the wiser, so I haven't got enough in common with them to keep conversations going. That's fair enough. Uh, Tia McCarthy says, Do you think um, the outsiders can take down the insiders now that you've left? Do you think they can? I think that it's harder for us because we have a smaller group and we don't talk about nominations which also makes it harder but I hope that now they've got some confidence within themselves to rise up. Okay. Fair enough. Um, Matthew Leon says on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being happiest, how happy are you that you're now out of the house? I am slightly relieved but I'm also gutted because I had a great time. Uh, I'm so sorry we've got to go, that's your lot. Thank you to all of our guests this evening. Tune in tomorrow on 5 Star with Jamie and Alice. Uh, they're going to be joined by Jedward. Have a lovely evening. <laughs>